Hi. I'm Corinne. How are you? Welcome to what's in your blender. I'm going to show you what's in my blender. It's Sunday fun day and we're kind of fasting around here a little bit. Not like starving, but just drinking some meals instead of actually cooking them. There is going to be dinner tonight though, but <laughs> so we had like a spa day and everybody had a really long bath, like at least two hours each. And it just feels really good to be here and to say hi to all you lovely people. Thank you so much for joining me and let's begin. So we're going to do a pineapple smoothie and I already cut open a pineapple the other day. So I got this chunk right here. And I figure I would just give it a whack, right? Let's give it a whack because it looks like there's a little bit of brown there and I wanna cut off anything brown always. All right. Perfect. Nice, juicy chunk. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How are you guys? I miss you. Thank you for joining. So now we're going to add some of the water. So we're going to put a little bit of purified water in there. Just a tad because I don't want a really huge serving today. I want more quality instead of quantity. All right. Now we got the pineapple, the purified water. Now we're going to surprise ourselves a little bit with a little bit of raspberry. Ooh, these are so juicy and delicious. So I poured purified water in there and shook it around and then emptied the water. So we're going to put those juicy red raspberries into our blender. So, so far we have a lot of nutrients going on here. Not a lot of like processed sugar, just all natural. So we're doing really good so far, right? Great, thanks for your compliments and your comments. I love you guys, thanks a lot. Okay, now, did it ever occur to you that you could actually, I don't like to waste any kind of food at all. So I'm gonna cut away these brown spots right here. I just feel like the more years that go by, the more people I know and the more awesome people there are that show up here in my videos. I'm so grateful for you. Okay, well, I don't like to waste any food, especially like fresh pineapple juice. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna squeeze that quarter of a pineapple right into our blender. So we're gonna get all that natural juice. All right. Perfect. Poifecto. Thanks for joining. Hi, everybody. Thank you. All right. So now we got red raspberries, a chunk of fresh pineapple, some pineapple juice, some purified water. Now we're going to, since I ate the banana already, the banana's gone. So I wanted to put banana originally, but instead I'm going to put cranberry juice. And this probably has a little bit of sugar in it. Just so you know, I don't want the cranberry to overpower the raspberry. Now I'm going to put 100% pineapple juice. So the theme is a pineapple smoothie. So we need pineapple juice. Usually I use freshly squeezed orange juice. And let's put the whole thing in there so we could really overpower it with the pineapple flavor. It's so cool because I do things like this all day long, every day. And sometimes I wish, God, I wish I was ready so I could film. And so, yeah, today I got ready so I can film. So here I am. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. So now we're putting all of this purified ice, purified water ice. I don't take it from the tap. Even though I have a whole water purifier system that came to this house, I just don't use it. I let it run every now and then in case the next person who buys this house from me wants to use it. 
All right, so that should be enough, although I did put a lot of juice in there. It's not enough. Okay, but first we're gonna blend that together. Do I have enough fruit? I have raspberry and I have the pineapple. I could add this nectarine. Actually, I should add this nectarine. Okay, so let's wash it. And then we're gonna cut off the brown spots. Here's a piece of ice. All right, cut off the brown spots. Ta-da. All right. And now we're gonna get that meat off of there in chunks, let's see. Let's see, any brown I get rid of, it's not worth it. And it might just be because the grocer dropped it. Don't you hate that? Like as if it's not expensive enough and then they drop your fruit when you're buying it. It's like, oh gee, thanks, you just bruised all of my fruit. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. I never waste. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching what's in your blender. Definitely not a pit, no pit. But get all that juicy meat off of there. You don't want to waste. So look how tropical this is looking. Gosh, that looks so pretty. All right, now, let's see here. One more ice cube. One more ice cube. Okay. Let's blend that first. Yeah. Wow, that's actually perfect. Let me see. I mean, it's way too thin. I want it to be smooth instead of chunky. I did call it a pineapple smoothie. And if you want to give it a name, I love when you guys do that. So, cause now it has red raspberries and a nectarine. That wasn't a peach, that was a nectarine. So red raspberries, pineapple, and the pineapple is the main name. And then the nectarine and the cranberry juice. So if you got any ideas, please do. I always, if you comment the name of this drink, you can make that up. I will title it that actually. Okay. And then go ahead and, oh, that's gonna be so smooth. Just stir it a little. It should blend right up. I was just commenting on my last what's in your blender video. This blender is, geez, from 2000, 1999, like 20, this blender is 24 years old at least, and it's a gem. smoothie thank you Barbara thanks dear I'm definitely that's it yeah I know it matches my top I didn't plan that <laughs> that's my energy you know okay we're gonna mix it one more time it's so cool this is a tutti fruity pineapple smoothie It's ready to pour, don't you think? I could hear it. I can hear how ready it is to pour. Actually, it needs a like big spoon. 
because I do not want to put it all over the counter. I'd rather go in the glasses. So we should be able to pour it. If not, God, my mouth's watering. I'm like, ah. Now, it's not gonna be pourable, which is perfect, because by the time you serve it, it will go down. It won't be like, it's not thick, see? Ooh, it looks like cotton candy. Are you sure you don't want to name it like fruity smoothie cotton candy? <laughs> what do you think, Barbara? Anybody else? Do you like that? Because I think I definitely want to call it cotton candy for sure. Woo. All right. Fruity smoothie cotton candy. Whoa. <laughs> it even looks like cotton candy. This is intense. That is so beautiful. Garnish it with a slice of fruit. Perfect. My mom will love that. I always do stuff like that special for her. Okay. So, a slice of fruit would be... Let's see if we have anything salvageable here. Actually, um, I usually do, but I threw it all into there. Oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on one second, please. Thank you for your patience. Okay, we have mixed berries over here, so instead of strawberries. Actually, those are too small. Okay, let's get a strawberry. God, that is such a good idea, thank you. We use strawberries for everything, especially in the summer. We had cheese blintzes with strawberries on it. Okay, so. Get two of these and then rinse it with like hot water or put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. And then cut like a slit in it. All right, yeah. Woo, so cute. A whole strawberry. So cute. Oh, all right. Yay, so I'm going to bring this over to my mom and I miss you and I love you. Thank you for being here with me. This is my house and I just once in a while do an upgrade. I don't like to waste a lot of money on upgrades. I'd rather buy another house <laughs> because I don't stay in houses that long because I like to move around a lot. And so it's just the way I've always been. So here we go. And we got Tutti Fruity Cotton Candy. It's Sunday, still July. Not even close to August yet. <laughs> and we're enjoying our summer. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye-bye.